What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire at all. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. And in this episode we have Late Siege to Punda and the uh, pirate garrison is sallying against us. So let us attack. We are not going to be playing defensive. We are going to be playing aggressively and we're going to push up into their territory and destroy them. So I believe this might be the last pirate stronghold in the Caribbean. I believe. Uh, but elsewhere, we have dealt with the Swedes that are currently hanging around on the continent. We've pushed in the Balkans. We've got Istanbul under siege. We've pushed through the Middle East. We're getting ready to invade Sweden. A lot of good stuff. So, drop my guns back behind the line. Then pick up my line infantry. Put my militia another contingent of infantry mixed on the right flank spread out my native warrior auxiliary mass my tribe auxiliary on the left obviously they have all they've all elected to deploy as far back as possible Send my native pirate auxiliary, my not my native pirate auxiliary, native warrior auxiliary, up through the town. New men push the left. We are going to experience how it's a fire. There's not a lot we can do about that. Send three units of infantry up through the center with them. These four advance up the right. Let's do my general on the right. The native bows, follow them up. Could wait for them, but where's the fun in that? Especially as they're just pirates. And the first light foot buccaneers. Second light foot, third light foot. So where are their mortars? That's their foot artillery. Okay, right. You may begin to run because you've got some distance to cover. Keep these guys walking, hidden, so they don't get bombarded, but they're in a good position to attack their gun positions. Oh, the mortar crews have abandoned their guns. That's quite that's quite handy. Actually, right. Colonial light infantry get into the building. form up here. Bowmen make ready. Bombarding the building. Native War Auxiliary go for the gun crews because they're about to blow your cover anyway. Native War Auxiliary can be a bit out on a limb. You men begin running. Six Light Foot will be engaged by the 27th Regiment of Foot. Although they're going to bayonet charge, and my general is going to give them support. Shot. On the other flank, a running gun battle. Cavalry engage the pirate mob. We 
Three men redeploy. There you go. Send some of these men who have snuck between their lines on a bit of a boiling mission. I actually keep attacking them. They're routing, I don't want them to come back on the flank and be all annoying. Get the land there, militia to attack this armed citizenry unit, you can attack that armed citizenry unit. Advance on and attack the guns. You men charge on and engage the first light foot. Keep on pushing around the flank. The line infantry here. Charge the buccaneers. They've unloaded their pistols on you. Don't let them get away with that. Uh, I suspect there was a stake, some stakes nearby. Oh no, they just the uh, one unit just shot the hell out of another unit. So you men charge into pirate mob, my marines. Go after the marines. I reckon they don't get bayonets, but they do get swords. So they are not long for this world. You men push down the street. A native war auxiliary just hacking away at everyone. Bring my light infantry in. New men push up. New men push up. Everyone go into the firelock arm citizenry. New men flank around these buccaneers and hit them in the rear. So they think they're doing okay against the 31st Regiment. Suddenly here comes the 28th. Bayonets glinting in the sun. Slaughter them! You men are both highly experienced regiments. See if you can add even more experience. I'm fairly sure. Ah, see, that's the part of the issue. When you route units too early, they do like to come back. Let's speed this up because they are. They're not long for this world. And they are just armed citizenry, so they might do a few casualties to me. God, some women just flew back. There we go. Just wipe them out. There we go. Jobs are good. One. Take that, pirate scum. Nice. So we might have Punda now. Brandenburg, you're on strike. Okay, let's move. East two infantry over to Brandenburg, because I think they only need... The, yeah, they don't need very much. They're just on strike. So you men... Advance to a crossing point. Well, not a crossing point. To a port. Let's destroy... The last... That last... That last... Uh, formation of Swedish infantry. You men move to Lübeck. They've, now they, if they if they choose to blockade us, we can just cross into their territory, which we will do. You are going to hold here and replenish, because we are going to attack Christiana, Stockholm, and Finland in one large offensive and begin to threaten the Russians from the north. We are also holding them in the center. So Poland needs reinforcement. Plus, what they're going to recruit is two units of howitzers. That'll help. Then this army behind them is largely okay. All these were there. Just a second. Right. So, these guys are mostly... Well, they're able to hold off a Russian uh, attack. 
The main thing, though, is to the south. So, yeah, you are recruiting. You've got some interesting units coming from Munich. But also, is that all of your... There's no one running to this army, so your recruitment down here is complete. So you need two units of heavy, heavier infantry. Get two Grenadier Lieb Regiment. Good. Then you will be ready to join the attack. You're fine just to hold for now. We're sieging Belgrade. We're sieging Istanbul. Building up an army in the south. Just to act as a bit of a garrison and maybe to, to raid. Ah uh, yes, Damascus. Don't have any money to hold Damascus. But you men can push out to Palestine. Quite a bit of extra cover. Can't recruit any sloops or anything like that. But this is why Austria's, well, the Ottomans start to really bog down our campaign. Like, to be honest, I want to kind of hold here, push and secure the Balkans, then start to push up through modern-day Romania. No immediate tech concerns. Then over in the Americas, yeah, we did take plunder, but there's nothing we can do about it. We can repair the port. We can replenish some of our troops. I believe that's the pirates done for. We could take Florida. Florida's quite a good fortified base on the continent. But I think it might be more, more prudent to secure New Spain in the Americas. They already, they're unfriendly and they have no friends. So, yeah, that would be a good decision, I think, rather than pushing too much onto the continent itself, or we could take Nassau back from the Ottomans, reclaim our territory. Uh, but let's hit end turn. If, let's see if the Ottomans bog it down too much. See, I think, so this is part of the reason why they, when they bog the turns down, if you don't have any visibility on them doing this, it looks like nothing's happening. Uh -huh. You're going to move up to try and reinforce Istanbul. Potentially. So maybe the army to the south in Athens may get moved northward to help that army and prevent them from being overwhelmed. Baghdad is open. It's currently not. It's currently pretty much undefended, but we don't. We don't have the mass yet to hold it. Not when we are trying to focus our efforts and pushing back the enemy in Central Europe. <laughs> okay, I'm going to chop the recording because even though we can see what's going on, it's it's not exactly the best stuff to witness. So, see you in a second, everyone. There we go. And we, are, we did start to see some of those Russian troops being sent south towards... Uh, Jerusalem, so the army I moved up out of the city is going to move south back to the city. Ooh, where are you going to send those men? Don't worry, Russia. Once we secure the Balkans from the Ottomans, we, do, we will redeclare against the Polish. And then we'll have a proper nice front, just like you always wanted. Okay, Sweden's still... Shuffling armies backwards and forwards. Ah, oh, I forgot about you. Okay, we'll deal with you now. We'll run to the east and then attack you. Actually, no, you were stationary for a long time. I remember now. Uh, okay, so, Europe. Actually, no, first of all, Hunda. Upgrade the port, upgrade the government building. Get some more resources. Actually, I'll spend all our money on one territory. No, I don't like that. You just keep on running. You men embark. So our sloop. Deposit your men off of Christiana. Should be able to take the city without a fight. Your army's still replenishing, otherwise... Oh, actually, they aren't fully replenished, otherwise they would soon join the fight. Okay, 
I wonder... It might be more prudent to... Well, they, if they can't move, let's just have them push along the coast to the port here at Gdansk, and then we'll ship them straight to Finland from Poland instead. Might be a good idea. Okay. A couple of global trading companies, water power cloth mill in Egypt. But yes, you see, they started to send a, hand, a handful of ragamuffins to the south, which we will intercept with our native infantry, which actually, because they were two grenadier units, there was, oh, there was a chance for that to go bad. You men replenish. Let's push you guys to the east. Start repairing some of this stuff. We're starting to see our finances not really be where we need them to be because of this Swedish blockade. But that's okay. You want to take Norway. You're going to push across and attack Stockholm. Well, that's the capital there. I'm not going to move them. But you're going to push up and attack Stockholm. Good. So you're still sieging Serbia. Right now, your army's a lot of militia. And again, so's theirs, but they've got some good heavy cavalry as well. So you're going to keep sieging. Uh, do we have any useful ships to the south? This militia unit push up to Venice. The spare light galley. Aha. Can you leave Tripoli yet? Minus eight. God, that's a lot. That's a lot. Start to recruit a bit of a garrison. Let's get the, the light galley back. So I've got a church school in Greece, and it's fighting it out with Islam, but they've got an agent there. Spreading the faith, which could be problematic. You come and destroy this last pocket of Ottoman troops. Because the territory to the east is Polish, so they're kind of stuck. They could march south to relieve the siege of this city. That's but I don't think, well, they appear not to want to do that. They want to sit there in more of a defensive position. Let's advance my guns up. Howitzers. Stay back up and load. Two detachments of marines. On either side of my guns. Although that's not how they... Organisations worked out. We want to advance the crest of this hill. Excellent. Heavy cavalry on the right. One set of guns that's going to set up back here and just blink from range. They do have re they do have enough range to shoot that far. Yeah, plenty. They cover their almost mo their entire movement zone from back there. Spread out. How oh, it's just all going to open up on the enemy. Oh, there is no artillery. <laughs> oh, look at that. 140 Janissary Musketeers knocked out. Okay, so you chaps keep going for them. My heavy artillery go for... This unit of Janissary Grenadiers. These skirmish horsemen aren't much of a concern because I've got two units of heavy cavalry. Limber my heavy horse artillery. Kink my line back just a little bit. I could send. I could have sent one, but I wanted to send two just to make sure that my 
The unit didn't get caught out. There we go. My charge wasn't very good. But now we're in proper combat. Ooh, oh, hits. Fighting into the combat. That should should do more damage to them than to me in a minute. Oh, glory to the quicklime gods. Come on, Janissaries are starting to show up. If we could route them before the Janissaries, Janissaries showed up, that would be really useful. Dude, I just don't want my cavalry bogged down fighting infantry without getting a good charge off. There we go, now they're soon be in range of my infantry. Oh no, you men are in position of now all of my line. Beautiful. Let's curl the edge of the line in. You can face off of them when you've got a charge behind you plus marines as backup. Significant casualties there. The cavalry don't give a damn. Just go, oh, just go after the Israeli. Mm, there is, there is not much hope for man. My other cavalry's been left behind. Oh, friendly fire! I redirected the artillery. It's everyone after the general's bodyguard, and they've lost a bunch of their staff. Yep. Yep, you should have withdrawn should have withdrawn but still I'll take that huzzah and back to your bridge Eugen Heinemann so you men push on to Ayasi see what's there ultimately you could take Belgrade but I don't want to keep pushing so fast when my money's so low so I'm going to focus on breaking through Sweden Drawing their ships away. They demand Hungary and they offer military access. No, we're about to get all the military access through your land that we need. Through you. I'm sure Russia's probably going to attack us this turn somewhere. Is it going to be the mighty migration of the Ottomans that we've grown accustomed to? It sure looks like it, so see you in a second, everyone. Ah, so we have a Russian force attempting to dislodge us from our religious holdout south of Warsaw. Let's take them out. It's quite bold of them, really. They've not they've not got a particularly large army, and it's mostly infantry and cavalry with not very much artillery support. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna have a real problem trying to dig us out of our position. They can have a real problem. Oh, beautiful. Position their guns. Two units of infantry to cover to the barn. And we can have one 
set of guns out here, just in case anyone tries to flank, we can provide some good bombardment. We've got a bit of cover back here. Because this let this is all impassable. So they'll have to come around and up here. So we've got two units of infantry waiting for that. Two units of infantry deployed here. Actually I might. Deploy two units here. My howitzers back here. Then three regiments of grenadier guards ready to hold. Or ready to, ready to uh, redeploy. Let's put some hussars here. I want one unit of heavy cavalry just here, just in case the Russians try and flank. It would appear they will not. Smack a unit of in line infantry on the flank if I could. If I've ordered you before you fired, which I don't think you did. Still, good hits. 23rd Regiment of Artillery focus on bombarding the first horse guards. You men stand firm. I think, you know, pikemen might be a good target because they're going to be a lot slower moving around the flank. Hello. Bibiani Strebzi. As we pop out over the hill. Don't have their swords raised, they're not ready. What well, let's just preemptively deploy into square regardless. Because we know it's only gonna be cavalry we're gonna be facing off against. Just kill the handful that is still within our grasp. And withdraw. New man cease fire, they're gonna bump into one of our squares, not at charge. Blast the regiments to your front. That pike unit's formed a defensive. Ooh. You're in quick climb formation range. You're in quick line range, I should say, not formation range. Sorry, I had a, just a sudden really bad cough. Um, okay. Bring up the Hussars. Quick climb, hitting the pikes. The general's getting into position. Oh, now I'm letting them charge my Owen Zollin. Jump on them. Support to your comrades. West, the rest of my cavalry withdraw because they've deployed square. Simonevsky foot guards, they deserve some hands to shot. You try and bombard the general's bodyguard. You firing. 
fine. Ah, that's the shot. You man, hold fire. So the advantage of these wild dragoons is that even though we might be face facing off against pikemen. Oh, they're vulnerable when they're running around like that. We target my howitzers. Accidentally chase them off. Excellent. Cross the edge and push around the flank, guerrilla mercenaries and pikemen. Yeah, have at it. Twentieth regiment is taking a lot of damage. They're a semi-experienced regiment. Fold the regiment of grenadiers into the line. See if you can knock out some of these units. That would be excellent. We might get all the pikes. And for more, oh, there they are. That's the pikeman dealt with, so Brit trot the cavalry back. Oh, good quick line hits. Bring my cavalry over here, ready to engage their general. Sorry, Oleg. Can't match my front. So they've got some line infantry. Yeah, they might pick off a few of my cavalrymen, but that's the militia gun. the way of pain major pain come on then Simonevsky foot guard there they are so this is a very experienced infantry regiment so they need to be slaughtered as much as you can or so I heard the quick climb go off I thought is it coming in here oh fire these fire the guns yeah we are going to continue but we're not going to continue chasing down their general. Keep on killing them, particularly the Simonovsky foot guards. I think two men in that entire regiment. There we go. Kill the foot guardsmen. another bunch of regiments killed there's that one in the distance but they are going to escape they're only guerrilla mercenaries anyway damn right decisive victory that's the word you want to see 
Nice. Oh. They were slaughtered the moment they minced up the hill. Oh, they're going to invade one of my territories in the Caribbean. Sweden's bolstering their naval strength. But it's not going to matter very much once we've... Uh, yeah, they're pulling all their troops back. It's not going to matter once we've... Uh, taken their homeland. So this army here, Punda, make sure you men are brought up to strength, because you will have a fight on your hands. Sigmund Meyer, you are going to get your last two grenadiers. Then you're ready to push up to the Polish border. You are ready to push up to the Polish border to the south. Need to build you into a church school. A steam engine factory. Well, to be honest, what can actually happen now is I can sail my. Let's pick my sloop. Yes, you can sail around you, good sir. And then sail up to Umia. Ooh. Good armies. Let's see if they send troops ahead to intercept my defense. Let's try and assassinate their general, too. What I need to keep doing is possible sink money into economy upgrades I suppose in theory the best thing to do is to build up my actual navy to be honest I'm sure I'm sure I can cobble together enough ships to do something I mean, you can just attack them automatically because we're not overly bothered about the Moogles. For example, take your fleet plus Pretty sure it's four ships. No, oh, it's three. Take the fifth ray back to rest. I mean, let's let the AI on handle this one. Kablamo! That's where my strength lies in building an economy to support to support enough ships that I haven't got to worry about that kind of stuff. Good, we're back up to proper money now. You're gonna stay where you are, because I want them to I want them to call all their armies back to defend Christiana, then I can just attack them while they're all bottled up. Finland's fine, you're on the way. You may require This army may advance behind you if you require support. Hmm. <laughs> It's doing some good damage through attrition right now, and I like it. What I want, I don't like. It's the fact that you've marched up to help out. Bolster the bolster the defenses. Which is you can't do anything useful. Twenty six turns till Mizrata. Develop. I suppose I could recruit more troops en masse in Tunis to occupy Tripoli, which is something I should actually do. And we still don't have money to rebuild Damascus. But that's okay. Let things continue the way they wish to continue. Eventually, Poland will... Ooh. Yes. 
I'll give you that advanced technology. Because it means more money. Oh, and here we go. Back to the Ottomans. See you in a second, everyone. Uh, they couldn't stand it. They couldn't stand our siege. So we're going to destroy the garrison of Istanbul before their very walls. Uh, I don't think this means the territory will become ours yet. Uh, that will probably be the turn afterwards. But I think it's useful that they're doing this ahead of time. Although you have to wonder... Is it, a, well, is it a ploy to get rid of depleted troops before they absolutely have to, before they absolutely will use them, so they get replaced with uh, better troops from the garrison? But you want to deploy back because uh, mortars are a thing. Probably going to keep my guns in one place just to make it easier to organize. Put out a good, good long line of troops. The pine trenches. Whoops. You men behind trenches. Grenadiers stretch out, put a few stakes down. We got one more unit of infantry. But the main thing we don't want to forget are howitzers. Out of range. Blow a hole in their wall. Just so that we could get in if we wanted to. Well, it looks like. They're going to be up to shenanigans while these reinforcements make their way up. They're only Janissary Musketeers and Nizam Infantry. Oh, everyone focus on... Hey, you're shooting at the gate. Normally, that's you don't really do that. It's difficult. Destroying the gate is usually, it's usually quite challenging. Because the mortar crews seem to be struggling getting through the gate. Because once the mortars are gone, we can just attack like a normal force. How cute. Imagine being a tiny packet of men. Advancing towards a huge line, and their guns still try and sh <laughs> still try and take you down. Nah, the volleys will do it. And once these guys are dealt with, we'll push up, and then we'll attack a bit more, and things will be a bit more fun. I want that fort. I want it. I want it. I want it. I want these men to get inside. I want my mortars to cease firing. So I want to secure the wall myself. Fairly sure I need to do something like that to route them around the stake. Okay. 
You fools. Whereas first, these engineers secure the gate so these men can occupy it. These two grenadier units you actually may go here. Yep, I think we've made what in British British terminology is referred to as a bullseye. Once we take the walls, we get all these lovely guns too. And if we can take the gate house, we will capture all of the gates. Okay, one at a time. Oh, that is one. Oops. because I know that artillery teams struggle getting past the uh, trenches and defences and stuff. Point those grappling irons up. No gatehouses for you. Camel gunners. Excellent. So you men get over here to support that. New men get over here. Onto this wall. Garrison is already pushing up. Don't lose any of my cavalry too easily. Ooh, grenadiers form a square. The 6th regiment charging. You men just go over here. Bring some of my cavalry back. My infantry are firing off volleys as fast as they can, but without artillery, it's just a limit. They're shattered, so now I can get my grenadiers over here at least. Push up my hussars to threaten the Israeli. Hussars are on the far flank. Everyone's stuck. This is a radio route anyway. My general's taking a few casualties. Charge first. Let's work on my grenadiers up here, they're gonna love it. Good 
And when my men are in position, well, hopefully they should. Fire it well off, shuffle around. I guess they don't want it. Same with you guys. Good job I wasn't counting on that firepower. Leave their way through these Nizam troops. Not Nizam, Israeli. Israeli are good, but they're just they, they're just firepower. If you want to make them do something a bit more complicated or not, or a bit more sturdy, if you like. Still not doing it. Sometimes, sometimes it feels like it might be to do with the direction that you drag things. You man, go get that. The 29th garrison. Send my regiment of Krushnek horse in against the horsemen as well. Just a second, everyone. Okay. So you men gathered here appropriately. You men have some men stuck outside the walls, so I guess that's why you'll perpetually never do the correct job. And we're pushing a horse push up, because we're going to try and hit that last unit of Azar. The Grenadiers are charging after the Azar themselves. You're the last unit alive. Engaging up at the walls. But the scrub means you don't see the cavalry. Excellent. A bit more bloody than I would have preferred, but still. Sometimes when you've got the enemy in a little cauldron like that, it's kind of fun to make everyone bayonet charge for the decisive victory. Ooh, make up your mind. Ah, you land off Greece, eh? Ah, nuts. Uh, you could probably defend against them. If we do lose the city, it will only be temporary. Then we will take it back. But yeah, this is kind of why I didn't want to overextend. Things start to get a bit problematic when you've got more routes to be attacked than attack. So deploy my mortars outside is a bit of bait. Although, uh, keep them inside. And then the weak unit, or the sit over the gatehouse. You can fire a round shot from the get go, but I want you to buy a quick climb, really. So these are the ones to worry about. These fellaeen. But I kind of expect the Armenian archers to just elect to uh, run away fairly quickly. See, quick climb is, is just, it never seems to do well for me. Yeah, they're routing. I think this is probably going to end up being a a 
battle that the AI, maybe the AI might have thought I was going to run away, but I didn't. So now they're kind of like, oh, what do we do? Well, there's some good hits. Okay, I'm gonna chop the recording and bring you guys back once, if, if, if anything happens. So, so see you in a second, everyone. Here we go. So we managed to destroy the um, the archers that came at us. But then what we started to see was the... Well, once they were destroyed and routing, the other forces that were in for action actually started to arrive. And this is where it starts to get a bit squiffy. Excellent, that's what we want to see. We need to keep quick climbing the Feline as they route, not the Riskers of Souls as they come in, because otherwise they might do damage to our wall. So we need to keep attacking them. You can keep loading and firing against the Grenadiers, the Karo Infantry Guards, I should say. Goes over here. Let's provide a bit of support because these guys are only fire lock arm citizenry. At least we do some good damage to the risks of souls off the bat. Bellyne have gone again. There we go. Keep on attacking them. They aren't shattered yet. See, they're coming back. We need to keep on squashing them as they try to get up the stairs. So once we've dealt with the Feline, we can draw my other reinforcements across. To help bolster the front, such as these three African infantry units. See, it's such a weird position to defend, because you can see that my guys are... It took them a while to actually get into the right spot, and my guys are falling like flies. So I may need to bring you guys across, if nothing else, to engage the Riskers of Souls before they get up on top. Yeah, winning decisively. There's a word we don't want to see for the enemy. Especially Riskers of Souls coming up. Men are engaging, troops on the ground, mound citizenry is wavering. Okay. Bolster. Your men, let's assume that those guys are far enough away for now. And get my other units across. Okay. 
you men engaged. Because now the risks of souls are coming up. They will not break. Not for any reason. Hopefully, though, because these guys are so low on numbers, they should start to break. The risk of the souls won't route, but they will route if we can do enough damage to them that they break. Same as the Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. They're starting to wonder if attacking is necessarily the best thing they want to do. Down to 50 men. The risks of souls are shaken as well. And yeah, we do just surround them. Infantry guards are broken. The risk is their souls are wavering. There we go. Whew. Yeah, that was a bit close. Could have gone a bit dodgy, that's for now, I'm sure. But still. Back you devils go. We will bolster our defences. She can't allow these fellows that are running around in pockets to boot us off the objective. It's a bit of a frustration about Greece, but we will we'll manage it. It is a inconvenience to the plan, not a blocker. Yeah, Russia's landed in South America. But we can redeploy in an attempt to ward that off. Russian agents are now aware of what's happening. Yeah, now Sweden's going. Uh oh. Fight like a Ooh, please attack us. That'll draw your garrison troops into action, won't it? It'll be you, you, and you. Good. Let's do this, Sweden. To make you pay for the damage you've done to our country and how destabilizing your efforts have been on our plans. We haven't done anything except try and exist and conquer the world, and then suddenly Sweden comes in and drops an army off of our coast. They're gonna, they, we're going to make them come to us this time. Fortified position around our first set of guns. We can put down a second set of guns. With a couple more units. Ready. Our Jaeger going to deploy up front. Heavy infantry in reserve. We've got another gun team. We're just going to deploy Roy back here. And three delicious howitzer teams. Absolutely beautiful. We've got some light cavalry sharpshooters. Plus some cuirassier. There we go. Play stakes. Quick climb of that horse artillery unit too. Let's watch it happen. And I'm pretty sure quick climb is not very good at countering Okay, look, you wanna come after me, I'm gonna run directly. That's right. Here we come. Come get us, Hussars. 
first the little mine thing went off. And then the rest of you will die trying to cross our barrier. Ah. Man, you can do you can we can deal with this. Other Jaeger unit can also get over here. Everyone hit the first unit because the area. Ah, oh, it's too late, they've all fired. So, where's my. Hussars, get my Hussars out here to go knock out that gun team. These cow these infantry aren't gonna be able to push fast enough to do too much damage to us. some really bad things but I'm not sorry at all get my light cover of sharpshooters out here first volley off against the seventh Guns all on limber, my howitzers can just pivot. You, as long as you shatter them, that's what matters. Let's try and bring you back. Because my cavalry is about to get caught out. What I want to do is push my come on, Hussars, keep on running. Keep my sharpshooters, or try and get my sharpshooters to engage at range. Engage in combat. Cease fire my howitzers and unlimber them because my heavy cavalry is going to mop up some of these chaps. So my cavalry should beat their regiments, of course. Seventh Regiment shattered. Go after the shotgunners. Then we can start to do something a little more like this. Canister shot 28. See, they're doing damage to us, but. Not as much as they could have been doing. Cannon just to shot the 23rd. Spin my heavy cavalry around to attack the last unit of one of my shotgunners. My 
the marksmen are engaging the 23rd. Advance up onto the ridge line. Stars flank around to go after the enemy cavalry. The sharpshooters are reloading to engage the 28th. Crossier into the last infantry regiment on the right flank. Actually, no, they might go after the guns because they're starting to push our way. Horse artillery, light horse go after the three pounders. Oh, you're trying to reform. So the theory team's done for. Come in after the go after the fourth regiment. Stand the charge. Actually, they can all bombard the twenty third in the center because effectively it's the only unit left on the field. They get quick line to all hell. My general is ready to pounce. If they didn't route before, then. Get ready to fire. Not too late. Stop that firing. There we go. Now we can send in the general. So they were hoping to prevent a successful attack by our troops, and that has not uh, occurred. So get after the 23rd Regiment of Foot. There we go, now everyone against the 28th. Now we've got lots of cavalry, pathfinding is hooked up. We don't need lots of cavalry anymore. Nice. Close victory is not how I would describe it. That was quite a conclusive victory, I believe. Nice. Back you, man, go. I don't think they had enough movement points just to hop back into Norway. How cute. Scoot over to Limassol. So they've got a full army there. Not necessarily a very good one. We can scoot this army back to Greece. But will they hold against that? I suspect not. So they need reinforcements. There's no reinforcements close at hand. You men are going to try and attack 
Well, we'll try and attack Istanbul this turn. You men will attack Belgrade this turn. 50 grand, so we need to use it. Got a lot of ports to upgrade. Let's try and keep my standard of one global trading company a turn. These global trading companies are really expensive to upgrade. go great bombs wineries the ability of the of the bavarian people to improve the lives of those they conquer has been demonstrated time and time again so that's all being done don't agree anything in greece who's on damari can push to athens but i am probably going to want to bring an army to bear. You're just going to knock them out. You may head back to Palestine. You guys recruits and then get some colonial troops and some light troops to help hold the city. It's unfortunate, but I don't think we're going to have so light to bring this entire army. Let's try it. I can, okay, I could, I, I can do this. Next turn, they'll complain. They'll complain that we that we're not being nice to them. But it's a it's a trade worth doing. Let's get this light galley out ready. So you can sail over and occupy fishing port. Disembark your men. Not, oh, you can't actually. Okay, you guys. Oh, you guys can't go anywhere either. Okay, just stay nearby. Maybe there. You're still within range, but if they try and go north to raid, you're still able to intercept. And again, we can't do anything here. And we've also got this Adrian Stapkovic. Agent Mouskovich. But Mr. Frankfurt. <laughs> I just realised he's Mr. Frankfurt and he's got a bit of a chin on him. There we go. Can you get to. Can get to the port. Move my sloop out of the way. I mean, don't just run, just go for them. Yeah. I mean, they're very depleted, but looking at the timer, well, what I assume the timer is, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Bavaria. Cheers, everyone.